Washington Post says a number of U.S. government agencies are backing a move by the Commerce Department to fully ban TP-Link routers. Now, we've done this, and I think understandably, with things like Huawei networking gear and the infrastructure gear. Should we be worried about TP-Link routers? Alex, what's your take on this? I think this is a hard one to justify for a ban. I mean, TP-Links have a really bad security um, history. They have lots of bugs, and they get exploited a lot. Um, I, but so does Microtik, so does, I mean, yeah. so many consumer so routers I, are awful. Consumer routers are awful. They don't, you know, this is why I usually push friends and family to Eros and other ones that are both made by uh, big those companies, are but are also Amazon, owns those Amazon makes Eero and yeah. they're cloud connected and they auto update, right? That's the thing about That's the key, like, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because if there is a flaw, you want it to be owned by a company that cares enough to put, to fix it. And then you need the, the mechanism to do that without you checking. Because no one checks their router firmware. Is it up right. to date? I mean, normal people will never log in again. We are coming out of the largest mass hacking incident that we stopped talking about, right? Which was the Salt Typhoon campaign oh my God. against the U.S. telecom industry. And they're still in there, right? We can't get rid of them. It is widely discussed uh, that they are still in there. 